There's a guy right there, though. No, oh, heard him yell. Let's turn manual targeting back on. And we'll invert the weapon group so the combine fires first on the deuce stage trigger. Yeah, I see him there. We found Kavarin War Service markers. Definitely taking those. Oh, there's all kinds of guys. Look how many there are. This is the most I've seen in a single spot. There. Yep, that blasted him, and off goes that box. See how far that went? Let's just use our tractor beam. Bonk. There's another pair of guys right there. Explosive rounds took care of them. I would say that's a dropship. All right, guys, we are on the way to Ghost Hollow. And if you haven't seen that yet, it is a location where a few different missions spawn. It's a wrecked reclaimer on the surface of Microtech. And we're going to eliminate some illegal occupants. So there's gonna be 14 guys on the surface that we're gonna to need to take care of. Because they're spawning on the surface, we can use some air to ground. And for that, I'm going to use the Vanguard and I've equipped it with the Combine Cannon, also known as the C788. Used to be a really good weapon on its own, but it got turned into a weapon that basically just fires off an explosive round and it doesn't really do much damage to ships, but what I'm hoping is it's going to be effective against the NPC AI that they've added to the surface of planets that roam around and protect locations and so forth. So a couple things that we're going to do in order to make using this even better is I'm going to turn on using my index finger and push that forward and cycle into manual gimbal targeting. Because the combine cannon is a size 4 on the size 5 mount, we've got it equipped on to the gimbal. That means I can use head tracking to manually aim the weapon. So that's going to give us a little bit more finer control over being able to fire this weapon. Now also normally with a mixed loadout between ballistics and energy weapons, you want to have your energy weapons not fire at the same time as the ballistic weapons. So I've got, I've got them set up on the same trigger but on different weapon groups so we don't want to fire the energy weapons when we're engaging a ground target for example it's just sort of a it's just sort of a waste so we're going to use the invert the weapon groups key binding that i've set up invert weapon groups so that the first stage of the trigger will actually fire the combine manual targeting mode we can look around and fire the weapon That way we don't have to pull through both stages of the trigger or do any kind of rebind or go into the MFDs and change the weapon groups for that. And we can start using the explosive rounds on the combine to take out the hostiles that are on the ground and on the ship. We might have to go inside the wreck uh, because some of them spawn inside sometimes. So we'll see where we end up once we uh, start taking a few of them, a few of them out. All right, so this is the crash site. Lots of trees around here, so you need to be a little bit careful. We'll add some zoom, see if we can see anything. I see a guy right there. We're going to blow him away. Alright, so there's another guy down there. Let's see if we can hit him with the explosive rounds and the gimbal. Yep, 
Yeah, he fell down. You can see him dead there. Sometimes there's a guy up on top. Yep, see him there. Also that box there just went flying. This is another use that we can use for the cannon. We can actually blow this box away off the roof, save us from climbing up. There, it just fell down over there. It's on the ground now. It just saves us from having to climb up. To get that loot. There's two guys in the center there. Let's take those guys out. We want to aim a little bit high because the cannon's a little bit low on the Vanguard. Alright, there's two of them right there. So we're at 9 of 14 now. There's another pair of guys right there. Explosive rounds took care of them. Peekaboo, anybody under here? There's a guy right there, though. Oh, heard him yell. Another guy up there. There's one guy right there. Actually, that was two guys. So I think we've probably got all the guys on the outside at this point. So we will touch down. search for the other guys most likely inside and we will try to grab some of the loot while we're here so here's a couple boxes right here looks like they were disturbed by something already yeah I'll take that helmet Usually these blue ones are just food and medical supplies or other random things. Actually, it looks like somebody pulled that one out recently. Someone's been here recently, then. Sometimes there's another box over here. Let's see if we can find that blue one that we knocked down earlier. There it is. That saves us from having to climb up. Just using that explosive damage. 
although it's a blue box, so usually, like, again, there's usually just food and medical supplies in it, so it's usually not anything too great. Alright, let's see if we can eliminate the last three guys inside. Times there's one in here. Yep. I'll take his gun. more left. I suspect they are probably in the rear here. Yep, there they are. So that black box... That was down by the cargo area. Usually that one is found in here. And sometimes there's an additional one in the actual cargo bay. So we'll go and double check that. No, looks like the one that was in here isn't there. So that's a very easy way to clear some of those missions. You could do that with any ship that has a size 4, or you could even do it with rocket pods on a Mustang Delta. Let's go see if we can find something else. Yeah, we got a delivery mission. We might find something on one of those that we can do some air to ground on. Now, obviously the AI is not too reactive to that kind of stuff at the moment. They don't really seem to shoot at your ship or even use the appropriate weaponry to deal with it. But I'm sure that it'll be more of a consideration in the future. So let's go see if there's any bad guys on the surface hanging out at th that we can shoot with the combine. With Ghost Hollow, you're sort of, you're sort of forced to engage to get the last few ones inside. E even from my experience with trying to drop like a E2 bomb on it, it still seems to always leave one standing. But with these outposts, when they do spawn bad guys, at least so far, from what I've seen. You're not really forced to engage at all on foot. You do have to pick up the package here, but you're not really forced to engage the enemy on foot. You can always just take them out with ship weapons. All right, so let's put manual gimbal targeting on and see what we're dealing with. I do see one guy down there, right about there. Invert weapon groups. Alright, let's take him out. Oh, we don't have 
quite the range on the gimbal in order to do that. I think we can go maybe to about there. Yep, that blasted him, and off goes that box. See how far that went? Alright, usually there's another guy up on the tower. Yeah, I see him there. Yep, we got him. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like them. So, we've got, I think, all the hostels removed. We haven't even set foot on ground yet. I see one container that we can loot down there already. I've hardly ever seen more than two guys at one of these outposts so far, so. There's also that area over there that will search beyond those trees. So let's just sit down and we will try to grab some of the stuff around here. Yeah, I've I found it's quite uh, quite useful. And the good thing about it is you can put it on the Vanguard and you still have space you can store it inside. I, I guess you could also do an Avenger. That way you can bring the Combine and store stuff inside for loot and boxes and stuff. Um, you know, you can do the Talon or like the Hurricane. Those kind of spring to mind, but they don't really give you that internal storage. Uh, what do we got? We got Dolavine. But yeah, you should you should definitely always check the site before touching down. It just gives you a good idea, especially where they're they're not really responding. So since we have to take that box back to New Babbage, I'm going to take that Dolavine anyway. That way we have. I think I left a piece in actually. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we're just going to take that back because we can quickly throw that in storage there and then sell it when it's convenient. So let's take a look around, see if there's any other boxes. Okay, so we got one there. So remember that box we just blew away? I think that uh, would have been useful not to blow it away in this case. Oh, there's another one here. More Dolavine. Okay, we'll just take that. It's literally free money. And if we run out of room in the backpack, we could also unload it into the Vanguard, too. Alright, so we gotta get up onto that shelf there. So, let's just use our tractor beam. Bonk. So we'll save that for now, um, because we need to find another box or something to help get up there, I think. Let's just check around these other things first. They like to hide things in these outposts. Alright, let's check this other greenhouse area over here. Uh, we can probably pull one of those containers over from there to climb up on that shelf. We'll see if there's anything lootable there. Not seeing anything in that one. We can take this, though. Build ourselves a platform. 
Lots of those containers around, it seems. We'll check that one with the ship. It'll be easier. There was one? Oh! I didn't even see it. Thank you. Oh, Venture Helmet Voyager. Pretty sure that was a subscriber item at some point. Yeah, I think it looked like it was part of the, the same object there. Good catch. How can you not like how can, well how can how can how can someone not like Microtech when it looks like this? Yeah, I think we might have to do that. I think there's some plates over here. Oh, good thing we came over here. Here's another box. Ooh, more helmets. Uh, well, I want that one. I could honestly live without the others, but I want that one. That one's a cool looking helmet. Let's uh, pack that up with us. Yeah, I feel like there is too. Ah, yes, these are the plates that I was thinking of. So, we'll grab them. Yeah, I've definitely seen weird lag with the inventory system. Oh, that's a bathtub. Um, I've definitely seen things like... Even, like, the next session, some of the loot that you pick up sometimes, it's, like, it's gone. Especially if you equip it to yourself right away instead of storing it. But I've even seen it when it sometimes you try to store it, it just completely disappears. Ah, oh, it really doesn't want me to stand on top of those. There we go. More helmets. Lots and lots of helmets here. Alright, so nothing super rare or anything like that. We'll just drop it right into the vanguard. Let's check over this area. Always good to take a last peek around before you leave. Is that one? Did we miss that one? Or is that just a prop? Yeah, it, it does. I find, especially with this patch. But I also find that this patch is much more of an adventure. It makes the game feel more... 
Like you don't have one set objective when you set out anymore. Part of that is the uh, is the service beacons too. Yeah, that is that is another lootable container. You really gotta poke around. I somehow have two containers open at the same time. That's interesting. I don't think there's anything we want to take there. At least that I want to take anyway. But yeah, look, look at this. You can't even you can't even really see that. You can now because I popped the lid. But but you'd have to get up on here. We wouldn't have checked with the ship. Wouldn't have known it was there. Really got to be, really got to be thorough. All right, I think we should be okay now. I think we did a fairly decent job of searching that. Alright, let's head over to New Babbage and drop this off. We'll unload the Dolivine. Alright, this is the close one here. It's not far from Microtech, so let's go to that one. Or not, not far from New Babbage, I should say. This one I've actually seen the most chance of one of those reinforcement dropships from spawning. So maybe that will happen and that will be exciting. Invert weapon groups. Alright, let's turn manual targeting back on. And we'll invert the weapon groups so the combine fires first on the do stage trigger. And let's see if we can see anything. See a couple guys down there. I think we got that one. There's another one there. Third guy on top there. Already seeing some loot boxes from the air. I think there's another guy in the tower. Yeah. Got him. Oh, there's all kinds of guys. Look how many there are. This is the m most I've seen in a single spot. Oh, that guy's body has gone sailing down the hill. Yep, 
yeah, the storm here can get pretty intense. All right, so let's touch down. And we'll have a little peek around. There's a container right there. Comp boards. Ah, look. We found Tavarin War Service markers. Definitely taking those. Oh, yeah, there's the storm. Don't see anything up on that shelf there. Well, this certainly makes searching the site difficult, doesn't it? Sometimes I need to pull this stuff out here. Gotta watch our survival time. Yeah, there's a loot container there. Uh, platoon medals. Let's take those. Alright, we are rapidly losing survival time here. So let's run back to the safety of the ship. And warm back up. Before we freeze to death. Oh, that's a good tip. <laughs> <laughs> Disable the combine on stage one. We can sneak around a little bit with the ship while that's ongoing. No, visibility is basically nil. Seems to be dying down a little bit, maybe. I would agree with that assessment. I would say that's a dropship. Are you going to try to land or engage? Well, let's blow them up. Oh, there's some guys in there. Uh, no. No, I'm not an engineer or anything like that. Yes. All right, what's in this box? Hopefully it was worth it. Not much of anything. Let's grab that Dolavine before freezing to death.
Uh, thank you. Uh, hello, Brome. How's it going? I haven't seen you in a bit. All right. Let's at least... Oh, here's another container. Oh! Now that... is... one of those subscriber helmets. We'll take that. Actually, let's just grab both of those. And... We'll grab that package for the mission. Alright, it's definitely a little warmer than it was, or less windy, so we're not freezing to death instantly. Or nearly instantly, so we can try to look around a little bit more. Visibility is still not great. All right, we're getting definitely, definitely not so windy, not so stormy right now. It's giving us a lot more time to be able to check this location out completely. Not to mention visibility to be able to see what we're looking at as well. Thirst is starting to hit critical levels, though. So we don't have much more time that we can spend here. Yeah, the storm's completely lit up now, it seems. I think we've searched pretty thoroughly at this point. Ah, see? There's one there doesn't look like anything is inside of it, though. Alright, uh... Let's, at this point... Get the hell out of here. We got our helmets. And we got the package we need to deliver. Alright, let's get out of here. Hopefully when we get there, we should be able to dump everything into local inventory, too. Alright, let's check and see if we have a local inventory. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, so let's grab... Let's deliver this box. We're getting real thirsty. We'll unload the Dolavine. Actually, since we're here, we might as well Might as well try to sell it, too. Alright, let's sell that off, see what we get. Alright, so 37k on top of what we got from the missions. Not bad at all. 
Not to mention we got uh, call to arms for every single one of those guys that we took out too. The delivery missions are a lot more interesting now because of that. All right, well, so far that's we did three successful missions where we did air to ground and got some loot. So that was pretty good. The Combine is definitely effective for that. And the Vanguard's a really good ship to do it in, too, because of the internal storage, so. Alrighty, have a good one.